and call it a comeback. They've been here all along. Your Memphis sports in 91 seconds. It starts right now. Anyone else still can't believe what they saw last night? No way the Grizzlies erased two 25 point deficits to win that game. I'm here to tell you that happened. And so did this moment from Carl Anthony Towns when the Wolves were up big in the second quarter. We in Minnesota now. Like I said after the media, all right, cool. We got to come back to our house now. Well, Cat should know better than to poke the bear after taking game three. John Moran had the last laugh, quote tweeting that video and reiterating, we in Minnesota now. Now, don't be surprised if Cat never wants to get mic'd up again. Hey, Twitter brought its A game. NBA memes highlighted the T Wolves coughing up two 25 point leads. John Moran, meanwhile, said he was channeling this scene from Michael Jordan's The Last Dance. He got a bat and cigar just like the goat. And someone was wrong for this one. Shopping out baby Kari Jaw's daughter for Carl Anthony Towns in this picture. Now that everyone, including the Grizzlies, have had their fun, Kyle Anderson said Memphis can't let up right now. You got to forget about it, honestly. Like, yesterday didn't happen. Just try to, you got to, you know, put your foot on their neck. That's the mentality you got to have, honestly. The Grizz are three point favorites for tomorrow night. Dylan Brooks is listed as questionable. And have your Twitter notifications turned on, Tigers fans. College basketball's top transfer, Kendrick Davis, is announcing his college decision tonight, and Memphis is expected to be the favorite. Davis is the American Athletic Conference's reigning player of the year after a stellar season at SMU. And we have Friday night stripes going down at the Liberty Bowl tonight. We'll tell you all about the Tiger alums that made it out. The quarterback battle, that's all coming up at 10. For your 901, I'm Clayton Collier.